Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome you to the 8th Annual Living Sport Awards. My name is Chris Jones, I'm a trustee of Living Sport. I'm delighted to stand before you this evening as we celebrate the great and the great of Cambridgeshire and Peterborough. I think there's, there's, there's little doubt that sport is an incredibly powerful medium and what we've, we've seen in Cambridge and in Peterborough is the way in which it's starting to galvanise community. I think uh, sport's really important. One of the things you find around sporting clubs as well as getting people together playing sport which is obviously important, they become social settings as well so people as spectators, family of, of family of participants start building friendships. In, ter in terms of obviously sport, getting people active and communities, I think it's one of the most powerful things you can get. Uh, if you look across the country, the bounce that everybody got in the aftermath of the Olympics and during it, uh, it was something special and uh, something that can really bring communities alive. Um, you can build community out of it and, and obviously sporting teams are very often involved in community events as well. really bring communities alive. We're fortunate we've got some good facilities in the area and obviously the work that Living Sport does is it plays an integral role in making sure that people use those good facilities that we've got uh, and obviously getting people active is what we all want. The work that we do is really about bringing people with disabilities back into the sporting arena, really encouraging them to be the best they can be, uh, but also we couldn't do that without Living Sport. Uh, Rebecca and her team and Simon have been sort of so supportive, um, they join us up with the right people, you know, they tell us who we need to talk to um, and they come with a vast load of experience from other people so just couldn't do it without them, brilliant. Living Sports a very it's a vibrant, active, energetic organisation, it's a charity that does good for all the people that live in the local communities. I've seen Living Sport do some fantastic work you know whether it be from things like uh, getting children actively involved in sport through the school games program through the work the great work they did on the Olympics last year uh, as well as promoting sport around the county and getting people involved in physical activity I think they've got a, a really really good track record of success. Living sport I mean, are very much the linchpin in driving sport within the region not in terms of driving people's passion, you can't beat the passion, but in terms of actually facilitating, and that's a very managerial term, but getting people to be able to access facilities, to be able to access expertise, to be able to access funding and resources. And Living Sport are this, this coverall, go-to organisation that, quite frankly, without them, we, we really wouldn't see a lot of the success that we see within the region. A lot of the success that we're celebrating tonight would not have come. And it's not necessarily a direct uh, benefit, but would not have come without Living Sport being there to drive projects forward, to find the funding, to get the expertise and so on. So they're, they're, they're crucial, really, to success of sport in the region. I think it's been really interesting for me to see the, the breadth of the work that Living Sport are trying to get involved in, the professionalism of their approach and their desire to really make a difference to people's lives. Uh, having been involved in sport all my life uh, and obviously living locally, I'm really pleased to be involved and, and, and being able to support their efforts. I think Living Sport has actually got many functions in terms of coordinating the activity in the area. It um, pulls different organisations together, it becomes a facilitator, it becomes a broker and it becomes a neutral voice which helps to eliminate any biases that different people might have. Well this is my fourth year as being a judge uh, for these awards evenings and over the years I've found it's become more and more difficult as the entries get in much much higher quality and that's been actually a thrill watching everybody's um, applications coming in and judging them as best we can. It's been very difficult but quality is definitely here in Cambridgeshire. That we can host events like this and have some fantastic talent not just past but present and future. So it's really exciting to be able to help facilitate something like this. Spread the word, living sport, we're the business and we'll help sport in Cambridge and Peterborough. But um, safe journey home, thank you again and we look forward to seeing you again next year. Thanks very much.